Still a pop, definitely a pop, not Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, your girl did some color. I know you guys love when I do color. I love when I do color. It's a fun little moment. Switch it up a little bit. I have fun with it. So I dyed this hair three or four days ago and I just kind of sat on it because I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Normally I can knock things out in one day, but with color, like I really be having to take my time and think this through. But I really like this color. Um, I've never done this color before. It's like a magenta raspberry kind of color um i've done a hot pink before and i was going to do a hot pink but i'm like you know we're transitioning into fall but that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to be boring that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't do a little color so i feel like this is a nice transitional color it's kind of like plummy magenta y but still a pop definitely a pop not still a pop definitely a pop so this is the color i did cut it and style it and colored it and installed it all by myself and i did my makeup i'm probably gonna leave some clips of that in here but i kind of hate how my makeup came out like it'll work for pictures but like it's not my favorite i love the lip though so if you guys are interested in how I got this look, make sure you guys are subscribed to both of my channels, liking this video, and keep watching. All right, guys, so today we're gonna be working with Cryer Hair. I've worked with them in the past, but I'm super excited today because I'm working with the 613 wig. I've been wanting to dip into blondes and fun colors and do something fun, and now is my time to shine. So I'm just showing you guys the wig. I'm showing you guys the hairline, the lace, the, the all, everything, okay? This wig, so far it gets an A for me because it was not super obnoxiously yellow. It was just a regular blonde. It was a 613, but some 613s are more on the like wider, more neutral side, and some are like that really, really yellow. This one was fine, so we did not have to tone this. So today I'm gonna be doing a pink color and I'm showing you guys the colors slowly so you can screenshot because y'all know I have an issue with um listing things in the description box. So look at it, screenshot it. I apply the colors in this order by the way so i wanted to do a pink and i've already done a hot pink and i know we're transitioning out of we're transitioning into fall now so i wanted to do something a little bit more subtle but of course something still fun so i decided to do like a magenta pink um but i didn't want to just do a flat magenta pink i really have an issue with like flat color when it comes to color i like dimension i like when you turn my head it's maybe light and then dark and then ombre like i just like that so I decided to go on with Atomic Pink first because in the Kiss Collection that seemed to be the most hot pink, like the deepest hot pink. So I went ahead and did that and I'm just dipping the color in it. I love Kiss Colors, especially for the watercolor me method. Highly recommend them and they're very true to color. I use Adore sometimes too, but Adore, I feel like Adore colors more, they're more like sheer if you like ever use them and it can kind of be I don't know it's kind of weird they kind of alter sometimes so i just like to stick to kiss if kiss has a color that i like i'm gonna use kiss but anyways so i am no hair colorist i'm no hairstylist i'm none of that i'm just a girl that likes to have fun and switch it up i can admit when i'm wrong i definitely added way too much water as you can see in the second time i put less water but um i put too much water which is why the hair wasn't like as concentrated as i wanted i didn't want a bubblegum pink i didn't want that like pepto bismol -y pink i wanted a true magenta with pink in it if that makes sense so um i'm just playing with it i just you know you learn as you go that's what i'm here for that's why i'm here to show you guys that you don't have to be a professional you don't have to be perfect you just have to trust the process and let things come out how they come out okay because when i was finished with this y'all I was like, oh my God, my hair looks burgundy. Like it's definitely picking up way better on camera. But in person at this moment, I was like, my hair literally looks like a burgundy color. I sent it to my friend. She's like, yeah, it's giving burgundy. I was like, oh my God, I do not want burgundy hair. I don't like that 99J color. I want pink. <laughs> it was really tragic. But once it dried, you guys, chef's kiss perfection. So like I said, I'm just applying the colors in that order. Just eyeball it. There's no perfect way everything is different for everybody you might want a little bit more pink you might want a little bit more magenta so just take your time color it eyeball it also keep in mind that all blonde hair colors differently and your water measurement may be different it's just this is just a guide think of tutorials as a guide they don't have to be exact 
everything is not going to be exact oh that's that water was hot but um yeah so i just finished coloring it to my likings until i thought it was right and then i went ahead and washed it with some shampoo i used the color ion shampoo to kind of lock the color in and stop it from bleeding too much and then i used the ion moisture um conditioner to uh, condition the hair because it is 613 hair it's been bleached it's blonde it might be a little drier and then i let it air dry for literally like mm, three days because yeah so we'll talk in a minute just enjoy the last few clips of this guys three or four days later i really have been lo losing track of time but here we are the hair is pink it is giving and i was so happy once it was completely dry it was perfect so in the middle it is a little bit lighter because watercolor is not as easy as it looks you guys it is a little bit hard especially when you want the hair to be like super opaque and penetrated it takes a little bit of work but like i said i don't mind so now i'm just showing you guys how i slick my hair down under my wig i'm going obnoxiously fast oh my gosh and i like to like oil my hair gel it back put in a low ponytail boom i get questions all the time on how i do my hair underneath my wigs and this is basically it i thought i would sprinkle that in here just so that you guys can see and that's it i don't do much to my hair i wash my hair once a week and do this throughout the week when i do videos so that's all. Then I'm going to put on my black wig cap. I always use a black wig cap. I could have done a ball cap, but I was like, girl, it's not that, it's not that type of day because y'all know I had this wig on for like one day. So I put the wig on and once I saw it against my skin tone, you guys, I was like, yes, the vision is going to come to life. We're going to get this right. You're going to execute this girl. You're going to get this right. So um, I'm just laying my wig. I basically lay my wig how I normally do. Again, like I said, I'm trying to get into 613 more, so like colored hair and stuff. So I'm going to perfect how to like blend the lace and all that and make it work on our brown skin. Just bear with me. Give me some time. I'm going to get it though. But for today, I just applied my wig how I normally have been. Same old steps. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy.
right, so now I'm doing my little trick that I discovered the other day. I'm not saying I came up with this or created it, but it's what's been working for me. So I'm just putting the foundation over the lace, and this is tricky because this hair is lighter, so you can potentially be putting product on your hair but guess who doesn't care not I so I just went ahead and did that sprayed it again and tied it down with the silk scarf for my final melt I prefer to use the silk scarf I just feel like it's a lot better you can use the elastic band but child sometimes the elastic band be lifting up your lace and I don't have the time so I decided to cut the hair into layers um, because as you can see it was pretty long and I just felt like I just wanted it to look a little fuller and just have like an edgier kind of look I didn't want the length today I didn't really care for that so I would just chop 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 and you guys see my scissors or my sorry not scissors that's not the correct term the shears gliding through the hair I just love these shears so much and then I just decided to curl it so it was a lot easier to curl because my hair was um you guys saw in the last few clips I straightened my hair and I didn't want like tight tight curls I curled them tight but because I straightened them, they were definitely going to fall a little looser. And it gave me the exact look that I wanted, which was the loose curls. Because originally I was going to do space buns. But like, it's just, I just was like, okay, that's just a lot today. In theory, it sounded really good. But I just was like, space buns, pink hair, this, that, that girl, relax. And I was like doing a makeup, makeup look today. So I was like, girl, have several seeds. Curl your hair like you normally do. You already doing pink. Nah, this is not even pink. This is pink. So go ahead and do that. Um, and the, the hair curled really, really good. I really did like the quality of the hair. At first, I was a little scared because the hair has more texture than I'm used to with blonde hair. Normally, blonde hair, yes, can be dry, but it gives off Barbie, very, like, shiny, silky, you know. But this one had texture, which I personally liked a lot better. It wasn't rough. It wasn't silky. It was just, like, right in the middle. Um, it was able to hold a curl. It was able to straighten. It was able to, you know, it wasn't too shiny. I personally really liked it. So I know it's really hard finding quality 613 hair out there. So I'm just trying to, you know, run through the brands like a Tomb Raider until we find the perfect one. But this one so far was really, really good. So I'm just going to continue curling and playing with it and styling it. Because even after I curled it, I was like, okay, maybe I can do the space buns. But then I was like, nah. I was like, maybe I could do a flip over. Nah, maybe I could do half of half. Y'all are going to see a lot. Like a lot goes into like trying to ex execute a look, y'all. Like it was just so much, but it was so much fun though. It was really, really fun. I want to let you know that you don't have to go. Don't wonder no more what I think about you. did not record this part but I was like you know what I don't want y'all cussing me out again so I'm gonna record 
this makeup portion so i was not too fond of my makeup at first but actually looking back it was kind of popping so i just did my skincare routine well not my skincare routine my skin prep routine which consists of skincare products but this is not my skincare routine does that make any sense there are certain products that i use prior to doing my makeup that just help my makeup look better sit on the skin a certain way like my foundation melts the powder melts into the skin everything there's just certain things that i do before adding primer and foundation and powder and concealer it's just a preference for me do you have to do this no but i've been doing this so i know what i'm doing you know what i'm saying so my skin is not flawless but it definitely does help create the illusion of that once you add a few extra steps to each his own but you know I'm here to share my gems with you. Um, all products will be listed below, by the way, because I use so much goddamn stuff today that I am not going to remember everything in every shade. So check the description box, and if not, we're not gonna we're not gonna speak that into existence. Everything's gonna be into the um, description box, okay? So I'm doing my brows, and I just got my brows freshly done like two days ago, and y'all, my brows is popping. My brows are like flourishing. I actually ended up going like two months without my brows being done and did not even notice until... I don't even notice when my brows aren't done. I just wake up one day and I'm like, wow, you look ugly, and like I have to make a brow appointment. So that's basically what happened, and here we are. My brows look snatched. They look great. I'm thinking about laminating them um but i kind of like this like snatched brow situation but today i did my brows before my foundation today i mean yeah before my foundation i've been doing like skin first and then brows but like i wanted a beat and i knew what kind of eyeshadow i was doing and it has like shimmer and stuff so i did not want that getting all over my face that's a no-go for me so i just decided to do my brows and my eyes first and i kind of like it i might be going back for like my more dramatic beats i guess you would call it but I'm very versatile, okay? I switch, I flip, I flop, I do what works for me, I do what fits my mood, you know what I'm saying? Once again, I'm just here for a guide. So if you like this look and you like to do your face first, babe, do your face first. It's fine. If you like to do your eyes first, follow along. Do your eyes first. Okay, so the last few times I did eyeshadow, I honestly have not used a base or concealer, but today I was like, mm, why not? Let's make it pop, pop, pop. And it did pop for sure, but I noticed in the blending that you'll see when I do my tra my first color or my transition shade, that it just kind of like stuck and it was just too stuck. So I would suggest just going ahead and setting that with powder so that it can blend because you guys are going to see it just kind of like, you can't tell right now but it's kind of tugging at my eye and it was stressing me out at this point i thought i really messed up but you know but for this eye look i really just wanted my lid color to be like the star of the show but i knew i needed some kind of transition or something so i just grabbed my good old dose of colors palette added some browns in the crease i like wanted color on my lid but like not too much because old tasha would have put pink and blues and purples in her crease and then it just would have been too goddamn much you know what i'm saying so this was like color but subtle and that's how i like it personally i'm not against you know the blues and the browns and the crease and, and the crease but this is just how i was feeling today so i added like two browns in my crease i know it looks orangey but it's brown and then i went in with this beautiful shade by pat mcgrath on my lid i got this new palette i don't know which one it is i'm gonna find it i think it's like a limited edition or like exclusive at sephora i don't know but it has like shades of pink and copper and all that fun stuff in there um i put that on my lid and it was so pretty it, okay so in the palette it looks like a magenta e fuchsia e pink but then you guys know how pat mcgrath do when i put on my eye it was giving blue purple and i was like oh my gosh at that moment i was like oh my gosh tasha you really messed up i know i'm going ahead of myself but you guys are going to see what i'm talking about i was like oh my gosh tasha you messed up like look at it it looks like it's going to be like purpley pink right and then when i put it on and then there's a shade above that i did place that on top at some point but i just didn't show it for some weird reason but anyways do you guys see how it's like purpley blue and it complements the look because i already have my outfit picked out i knew i mean it's not really an outfit outfit if you guys saw on instagram it was like a chill fit but it like I still have to plan it out, you know? My shirt was gray, so I was like, okay, it's just gonna go with the grayness in the shirt. It's just gonna go cool tones and pink. That's gonna be the vibe for today. 
So I just kept going with it. But honestly, at this moment, I was like, what the heck is going on? Oh, I did show you guys. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on? But it looked really good. And I just love Pat McGrath shadows. If you are looking for eyeshadows and you really want to treat yourself, spend the 125 it is so worth it it doesn't have to be this palette it could be any other palette her shadows are bomb like i don't know what kind of formula this is but the shimmers are unmatched it's like glitter and pigment and shimmer had a baby and it's just amazing so i'm doing some eyeliner and then i just basically did wing liner not now i did it towards the end because i always do wing liner at the end and yeah, so I'm doing my face routine. Y'all, I'm gonna have you jam out because I did the same face routine. And like I said, I will be listing the products below. And I purposely left this in here so y'all can see what the back looked like because I realized I didn't show you the back. So I wanted to show you guys the back of the hair, how it had a little dimension, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just rambling. This is kind of why I don't like voiceovers, especially with makeup, because like I just feel like I talk so much. So like, let me know how you guys want these videos going for moving forward. Do you guys want voiceovers? Do you guys want me to just say one thing and shut the heck up? Do you guys want me to talk to you? But then when I talk, I feel like the video is too long. But then like when I'm not talking, I take too long and the video is still kind of long and I'm still kind of rambling like right now. Oh my gosh. If you've made it this far in the video and still listening to me, thank you so much. And I love you because you got to really like somebody to listen to all this because girl, girl, I am a mess. I'm going to just, I'm going to head out. point i was like oh my god my makeup looks so bad and then once the bronzer hit everything just changed i was like yes period okay so sometimes you just have to like trust the process and just see it through see it through my boy okay <laughs> and everything will come together so as everything was coming together i was like wow this is a low-key like a modern twist and i use the word modern very loosely because like mm, 2014 15 whatever was not that long ago but like here we are years forward with like more talent um more resources we just know a lot more so like it makes it modern when you take something that was previously trendy and you're you reinvent it so we kind of reinvented the grunge glam here do you get what i'm saying a lot of people are like touch this is not grunge glam but you look cute though this is not but i feel like it was like i feel like back in the day grunge glam i mean minus the lip because y'all know how i feel about lips everybody was wearing like the those mauvey gray toned matte lipsticks and then would do like a glittery eye and then would throw on like a leather jacket and something with fishnets and then the combat boots you remember the combat boots that laced up everybody was wearing them 
and this is just like a better version of that if you guys saw my picture on instagram that's kind of what i you know embodied in a sense like i just wanted like a chill moment but i wanted it to be glam at the same time i feel like the hair and the makeup is giving very much glam and the outfit was kind of like you know chill grunge it's just i don't know it's like you everything doesn't have to be exact everything doesn't have to be replicated it's like you take a trend or a style and you reinvent it and make it yourself i mean not make it yourself make it your own here we are what was that 2014 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 oh my gosh about to be in 22 oh my gosh seven years later and we have evolved like i'm way more talented than i was then um i'm older so i'm like becoming into myself i know my actual style so i know how to make a certain trend work for me if i would like to partake in that trend and also we have more resources we have more money i can buy these things now to create these looks or whatever it is that i want to do so i don't know i feel like it's still giving grunge glam to each its own but i feel like it's coming back regardless whether you thought this look was grunge glam or not if you've been noticing like the skunk patches just like the very chill outfits and stuff are coming back like i have been very observant and i've been just very into like makeup hair and fashion as a whole like i look at it all together when at one point I was really just into makeup and then I became into hair and then I kind of dipped into fashion now I'm like it's all one now like I, it's just so exciting to like watch but anyways that's just you know my little my little rant but I'm getting into the fun looks you guys and I'm super excited well for now at least y'all know I'm flip floppy moody whatever so this completes the look um once I spray my face I just kind of like played with my hair recurled the front a little bit because I had the scarf on and I put my outfit on and mwah, the loop came together so i hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you guys check the description box for any tea okay and comment below let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see next i told you guys i'm very open to new content i want to just have fun i'm in just like this whole different it doesn't even matter we'll talk about that another day but i definitely wanted to get into more fun side of youtube okay because it's getting very boring it's a snooze fest so we about to f it up okay so I'm about to finish playing with my hair and making sure that this is really what I wanted to do. And then I'll talk to you guys at the end. love this color i'm obsessed with this like raspberry magenta pink Ugh, it's just so pretty it's so pretty only thing is that i wish i knew how to lay and slay the front because it's not giving scalp like it looks good she looks decent but i just feel like i haven't mastered um laying blonde lace i just kind of get by 
But yeah, I have so many like blonde wigs coming. I'm going to be playing with so much color. I am determined to perfect it. Okay, so um, let me know. I mean, I kind of know what colors I'm doing next, but of course I like to hear your guys' feedback. So let me know what color you guys want to see next. Um, the next color I'm doing, I have not done yet, ever, and it's long. So, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. I actually love the quality of this hair. At first, I was like, mm, it's a little rough, but I like the texture of it because it's not like Barbie-ish. It's more, I don't want to use the word natural, but it just looks a lot better when it has a little bit of texture to it. When it's too silky, it just gives off Barbie hair, and that's not what we want. So I really do like the texture of this hair a lot now that it's like styled and tamed. It's so freaking cute. So I'm going to go try to take a picture. So thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!